For this video, we're going to demonstrate how to export a circuit to GDS format. For our sample circuit, at level 1, we have these traces that have all the ports on it. We have level 0, which has the air bridges, and we have vias that run from 1 up to 0. We're going to output three GDS streams, one for the air bridge, one for the via, and one for the traces with the ports. So to get started, you do export GDS. You're presented with these options. The first one is to separate by layer type or by object type. That we want, definitely want to do. That means the vias and the metals will be put on different streams. You could say separate by material type. That means if we had a layer level that had two different kind of metals on it, then you would get a different stream for each of the, of the different kind of metals. We have all one metal here, so it doesn't matter. Divide multi-layer vias. That will split up vias that go from that cross multiple layers. In other words, if it's going from, say, level 3 to level 1, then you'll get two vias, one from three to two and one from two to one. Again, we don't care in this case because we only have one one level, there are no, no multi-layer vias. This option, the convert vias to circles, will make circles for all your vias instead of squares, rectangles, or whatever you have. They have some, some options. Um, you could output your brick polygons if you have to happen to have a circuit with bricks. Again, they would be on a separate layer or a separate stream if you had the separate by object type set. Output your via polygons, which we want to do here. There's an option to output the pads separately. So if you have pads turned on on your vias, you can output those on a separate, uh, again, it would come out on a separate stream most likely. And the metal polygons themselves. This is uh, the rest of the options. I'll have to do with edge vias, which we're not doing here, so I'm not going to bother explaining all that. I'm going to click Next. Sorry, it's off the screen for you. I'm going to click Next, and you're going to come up with the, these default um, suggested streams. So, the again, we have three, like I said we would get. We have one for level zero, which is the air bridge one for level one, which is the, the feed lines with the ports, and one for the via from, from level one up to zero. Notice the object types are set properly, the levels are set properly. Notice that the material type is grayed out. That's because we chose the option to not separate by material types. In this case, it didn't matter. Now, the stream numbers are not going to be what you want. The stream numbers are just using the XGM layer num level numbers. So you need to put in the stream level, stream numbers that are appropriate for your process. I'm just going to put in some numbers here. It doesn't really matter with what I put in here. Okay, now all the other options on here is uh, to add and delete layers. So if we wanted to, to map more things, say we wanted to, to map uh, the air bridges out to two different streams for some reason, you could add a layer and, and do that. If you have an, already have a layer file specified, for instance, if you imported this circuit from GDS to begin with and you made a, a layer file at that point to specify all these things in a detailed way with all the correct stream numbers, then you could press that and go ahead and load that existing layer file. For most, most of you probably will have layer files that you keep around for, for multiple uses. All right, so now we push next and it Tells it asks us what the name of our GDS file is going to be, which we're just going to pick the default, which is our project name plus .gds. Now it's asking me for the uh, GDS library name. The GDS file has a library name. The default is the project name. You can put whatever is appropriate for your process in there. And it has saved the file. So that's pretty much all there is to uh, exporting to GDS. Now, Gerber and DXF are, are similar. Um, DXF is actually even simpler because you don't have the extra layer file step. The uh, DXF doesn't have the stream name, stream numbers. It has named layers. So, Sonnet 
late names those layers for you. And Gerber is a little more complicated because Gerber is a multi-file system, but, but basically the same idea as a few more settings in there. So I hope you learned something about uh, export to GDS. For more quick tip videos, visit sonnetsoftware.com slash video.